Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, and here we are at the Henry Street Ale House with Meeting Expectations. Our host, Jerry Scott, and Taster. Jim Bennett. All right, for those of you who are new here to this program, what we do is we take a look at a can or a bottle, we read the label, and we crack it open to see if it meets expectations. And for those of you who have been here before, you know what to expect. And if you enjoy our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. All right, let's see what we have today. Well, this is from KCBC. We've been doing a series of them for the last uh, few tastings. And they have, first of all, as you've noticed, some amazing artwork. And they also have a sense of humor. This one is, a, is called Once Upon a Time in Froggywood. It is a double IPA. Now, if the name sounds interesting, Once Upon a Time in Froggywood, well, they have a reputation. This is a label from one of their better beers, uh, the first beer that they did uh, take off on, and this is Reservoir Frogs. Reservoir Frogs, of course, the Tarantino Frog. flick, uh, Reservoir Dogs. And they continue with Froggy Wood. All right, well, let's see what Froggy Wood is. Froggy Wood is a double dry hopped, double India pale ale with Citra, Rick Riwaka, Strata, and Amarillo hops. Uh, the, um, the grain list is barley, oats, wheat, and rye. Wow, they've got practically every grain in here. And it's 8% alcohol by volume. All right, with, with all of these, with Citra, Ruwaka, and I've never heard of Ruwaka, Strata, and Amarillo hops. What are these, Amarillo? What are we expecting? Jim, I have no idea. It's going to be, uh, it's going to, well, it's going to be a great IPA. It's going to have uh, a nice blend of hops. And, uh, what are the, uh, what are the malt? Uh, the the, the grains? grains are barley, oats, wheat, and rye. Wow. Yeah, okay. It's going to be a nice blend. It's going to be well-rounded IPA. I, I agree. It's going to be big, well-balanced. Uh, the rye is going to spice it up. Expecting a little, yep, a little snack from the rye. Uh, the wheat will A nice, it up. nice, the oat and the wheat both in there. It's going to give it a round mouth feel, but the rye is going to add a little extra snap. And it's going to be very hot. It's going to be a lot of different flavors. In it. Yep. Well, it's different, the as, different hot as flavors. With most of their beers, it's going to be the different hot flavors are going to fascinate me because yep. I mean I know what Citra is. That's uh, almost like a lemon, and Amarillo, which has the uh, um, pine. Yeah, the pine. So yeah. this is going to be a, an it's, interesting one. It's going to be as as with they, these guys do some great ideas. I mean. I'm, I'm never disappointed and usually, usually surpass my expectations. All right, so, well, Jerry, crack it open we'll and let's see if it can meet expectations. If you have a beer that you would think the old growler might like to try out and see if it meets expectations, let us know by mentioning it in the comment box below. Also, we have a different system of tasting here. Fred Dex, Master Sommelier, will explain it all to you up there. It is the sip and sniff. The color, it's almost, a, it's almost a... It's all colored. Yeah. Pete, I'd go peach, but it's not quite peachy. It's, it's corny. It's very similar to their other IPAs right now. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Ooh. Got a little bit of there's a there's a there's a, a, a pepper. Yeah, there's the pepper. rye. That's, that's the rye snapping at you. Yep. And uh, that's some good stuff. Oh, there's an interesting nose. Wow. It smells that, a lot better than Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, I think. The, uh, the hops, uh, they, I, I have a feeling that there's, some of the hops are very distinct for flavor and some of them are for aroma because they, they, they don't taste like, they, they don't taste like it smells. No. Yeah, 
Yeah, the smell is a lot more uh, so the next time just hard. Well, you can see. Harsh, but it's the shark. Yeah, but kind of, yeah, well, right. Kind of, uh, it's a little astringent. Yeah. Okay. But the taste is very soft again. Oh, the finish is, it just kind of drifts off. Wonderful, yeah, clean. It, it's yeah. There's something something with this much flavor as it's going down, like the finish is very clean. Yeah. It, it kind of wafts off the tongue after it, it just becomes ether, you know? This one, this one makes you think. This one makes it, you want to sip it slowly because it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's really nice flavors. flavors. The, uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on. The finish is, the finish is really clean. Although it's, I mean, it's it's big, it's complex. There's a lot going on, but but then at the end, it just kind of yeah. drifts. Not yeah. not like it disappears. No, but it's like and a, leaves you wanting. But it, it like leaves you. It, yeah, it just kind of just kind of leaves the tongue with a, leaving yeah. you with a nice yeah. nice flavor on the tongue afterwards. Well, then, would we say that um, once upon a time in Hollywood meets expectations? My expectations were high and they have been met. They are awesome, yeah, very much so. They meet the expectations. I'm the old bro of Pete LaFrance, hoping all of your beers meet expectations. Another keep drinking KCBC, they will. Ah!